It's a typical lively morning at the Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. The principal and staff are here to greet arriving students. But today, something's different and special. Among the greeters is Dr. Deborah Duardo, superintendent of schools for all of LA County. 80 districts, over 2 million students. Dr. Duardo visits schools like this one as often as she can. And it's just a wonderful opportunity to talk to students, to talk to teachers, to talk to counselors and social workers, and just to hear from the community how things are going. We've been practicing since September, so it's been a little while. And like that desire to connect, observe, and encourage is deeply rooted in Dr. Duardo's own experience and educational journey. She was one of five siblings growing up in the L.A. area. She dropped out of high school to work full-time to help support her hard-working family. Married at 15, and at 16, mother of a child born with spina bifida. You know, the first year of his life, he had to have 10 operations, so it was very, very serious, and I really needed to understand how to care for him. And I realized that I didn't understand what the doctors were saying. I didn't know the difference between a neurologist and a urologist. I didn't understand the terms that they were using. And I thought, if I'm going to be a good parent to this child, I have to go back to school and get an education. That hunger to advance her education led Dr. Duardo to community college. Between full-time work and parenting four children, it took her a good 10 years to graduate. But then she applied to and was accepted by UCLA. What I realized is that by getting an education, um, it opened up so many opportunities. It, op it just opened up doors that I never would have imagined that I could have gone through. And so in L.A. County, the majority of our students are low-income students and come from families that are really struggling. And um, I think it's really important that we do everything possible to expose children to opportunities because sometimes you don't even know what you don't know. For Duardo, those newly discovered opportunities led to a bachelor's degree in women's studies, a master's in social work, and perhaps most consequentially, an internship at an L.A. high school. There, she discovered what would become her life's passion. And I just fell in love with the kids. I fell in love with the community, and I think a, a big part of working with students is getting them to believe in themselves and, and exposing them to the opportunities that are available to them. In L.A. County, the adversities seem as vast as the region itself. Poverty, homelessness, language barriers, students with disabilities and special needs, experiencing teen pregnancy and parenthood, or having to work instead of attending school. As someone who experienced many of those challenges, Dr. Duardo is quick to share her journey and offer encouragement and hope. You can do it. I absolutely believe in you, and, and that's the first thing I ask uh, students when I talk to them is, what are your dreams and hopes? You know, and, and sometimes they, they haven't, you know, figured that out. Like, they need help even thinking that they're worthy of dreaming and that they can do much better and that, that they can have greater things. It's important to look up to her because that way we can see how she didn't give up, and even with the problems that she had, she was able to bounce back is super inspiring for us as students because when you go through so much but you still come back to serve your community, especially through education, it gives so much hope to the future generation. Jimena and Millie are among the many students inspired by Duardo's story. Both are part of the superintendent's Student Advisory Council, meeting once a month. It's so nice to know that, you know, we have such a powerful and amazing person that's on our side and actively, you know, pushing for the things that we want to see. And those of us who come from difficult backgrounds are getting the access to the resources they need. Today, Dr. Duardo is committed to finding resources to help all of the two million students she serves. Colleagues say she's a living testament to hope, resilience, hard work, and success despite adversity. It's a story she hopes will inspire these young people to seek a similar path. My hope for our students is that they thrive. That not just that they exist, but that they're happy and they live um, wonderful lives and that they have options and opportunities, that they feel a sense of belonging. Um, and that they're successful and reach whatever their dreams are and helping them to see those dreams and to help them to see their potential.